Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how we can set up Liquibase in your project and how we can create a table inside the data into the table. Okay, so for this purpose, previously I have made a separate video on the you know on my channel this is the second one you could see here right this is the one i have made i i will you know try to include that link in the description as well okay so in order to work with liquibase you need a liquibase core library okay so how you can get that go to the maven repository simply type liquibase okay there you could see here we have this library with 4.2.2.25.1 which is the latest one i would suggest you guys to use the latest one and i'm going to put this link in the description as well okay so i have already added that as part of my application okay and along with this what else we have is i have uh, spring data jpa in order to connect with the database and i'm using mavia db in my case and also i have a spring batch application as well also spring web okay so what this project is doing and what we are going to do is simple so there is one csv file is there this will uh, with the help of a controller here okay i'm going to dump this csv file into a table called customer uh, info batch table with the help of spring batch okay so here this is a table right this table we are going to create and insert some data first later on we are going to hit this api and insert all the data okay so i hope you guys have understood what we are going to do today since we have added that liquid base co library directly what we need to do here is there is some setup you need to do okay go to the resource folder here create a directory called db then here you create a another directory called change log okay so here you create a change log master file change log anything is fine but so basically what liquibase will expect is you create one master file from there you keep on adding your child files okay so that's why i have created this and we need to add one property here called liquibase arrays will go like this spring dot liquibase dot change iphone log is equal to we need to give that particular path okay so this is a path guys okay class path and the file and i am enabling my liquibase here okay so this is a small setup we need to do then let's what we need to add here okay simply go to google and type liquid base best practices because it's not good to remember all this it's good to you know from the best practices try to copy it okay so here you will get this change log guys okay this change log let me copy this and paste it over here this is my change log here include all so all the files as i said there is a master and the child file set so all the child files will be here so simply keep it like this so you could see here we simply copied and in this particular folder i want all my uh, all my child files will be created this is nothing but database change log okay now what we need to do is we need to create the change sets okay so so for that purpose what i need to do again okay simply go to the docs liquid based docs okay 
and here there is some some you know things they will only give we simply need to use them okay so if we come down here what they will say is entities okay create tables so simply this is a one right so before to that what you can do is simply copy this and create one more file here called change set iphone v1 dot xml okay and paste it over here that is a master and this is a child okay here you could see i'm copying this particular table structure they have given right so remove that include files and paste it here change the set so basically what will happen is like each execution will be like a blocks and each block will be a change set here and you can keep the order as let's say like this and this id should be unique guys okay now what i need to do is as i said let me pin this okay so as i said i need to create this table and insert some data into this as far as what we are going to do okay so let me create this particular table first customer info batch so here what will what we have is like we have create table xml what is the create table table name we need to pass column names we need to pass on right cool so here table name is customer info and id i have is same then first name column name is first name you can remove this constraint size is you can keep it as 255 okay so this you can copy paste it for all the columns like this you can copy paste it and create all other columns okay give me a minute i'll create it in the meantime yeah guys so i am copy pasting all the columns here and corresponding types also you need to ensure okay here in my case all of them are string so i simply copy pasted column names and i have adjusted my types okay so then and and one more thing you need to ensure is like primary key column okay so here this is my primary key so i have added here this is my primary key which i have added okay cool nice this is one part of our execution is a create table next we need to insert some data into this right so simply go to the same liquid base docs and go to the data here i think they will give one example yeah insert example okay so simply use the same thing okay change the set again they give it so use this change set here this is another change set so ensure this id is unique so let me keep something called two and let me keep hathav as my name here what they are doing insert command they are using into the table name what is a table name this is a table name and column name is first is id let's give some value to it let me keep it as zero now you could see for numeric value as well you need to put it in quotes boolean as well put it in quote null as well put it in quote okay that's why they given all the different kinds of examples here
I think all of them are not mandatory so I'm not putting all of them if you want you can keep that as well David gmail.com last name let me keep some value some random value first name let it let's be like that okay so here what I did is I have created the table customer info batch then I am inserting data into this particular table okay so from the beginning what we did simply we have set up our change log properly and we have added that into the liquid base change log set and we have enabled this liquid base right now simply go to the maven clean that first now you could see here this is a schema it is pointing with right? this particular table will not be there basically okay this particular table is not there right cool now clean is completed now click on install then what should happen is as part of maven install this particular table should be get created and insert the data that we have given as part of the change log set okay so let's see that now you could see compilation is happening it might take a minute because this is the first time bit so it might take it minute and in the meantime if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section guys and also if you are not subscribed to my channel i will strongly suggest you guys to subscribe and follow all the videos in this particular channel because these are going to be really useful okay now you could see it is running the test files okay okay i think some exception came what is that exception okay liquid circulars okay circular references ever include circular if you like to ignore the change okay okay i think it is referring in between itself include all and include this particular thing right so what i will do is include and i will keep particular file in my case this is change change set v1 dot xml okay so that i might resolve that particular issue so what is happening is like inside this only it is revolving each time it is going and checking in the master include all is there so again it is coming into the uh same particular folder and checking that okay so maybe because of that that issue is coming so what i did is instead of include all i simply kept include file okay single file i have kept so i manually saying please include this particular change set which is available here actually this is the correct approach why is instead of mentioning all the files in your in your actual board environment actual project environment as well it's mention it is better to give individual files so that you will have more control okay i think now it is it is starting to uh, build is happened so simply refresh this guy and see now you could see we have this and our uh table created and row also inserted guys hope it's useful for you guys